Hi guys, in this video we will discuss three different approaches to check if a key exists in a dictionary or not. First one is using if in statement, second is using get function and third one is using iteration. Let's start with it. Suppose we have a dictionary of strings and integers where strings are the keys and integers are the value. So basically it contains the words and the frequency in some text. And we need to check if the string at exists in the dictionary or not. We can do that using if in operator. We can directly use the in operator with the dictionary to check if a key exists in dictionary or not. For example, if we write at in dictionary. So here dictionary is and if I execute this line, it will return a boolean value, true or false. So this statement is returns true because the key at exists in the dictionary. So now we can use this statement with the if keyword to check if a key exists in the dictionary or not. Like here. Then print if key exists in the dictionary. Then please, yes, key exists in dictionary. Else, key does not exist in dictionary. Now, if we execute this code. It returns yes. Now let's execute it again. Yeah, it returns if yes, key exists in the dictionary. So we can directly check the key for its existing in dictionary using the in operator. So this expression evaluates to a Boolean value, and if key exists in the dictionary, then it will evaluate to true, otherwise false. Now let's check some negative example. Suppose if we check here, like Let's execute in a separate line. Instead of at, if we check where, and if I execute this code, so it says that key does not exist in the dictionary. So here, so this is how we can use the if in statement to check if a key exists in a dictionary or not. But there are other ways too. Let's dig into them. Check if a key exists in dictionary using get method. Python class provides a get function that accepts a key as an argument and returns the value associated with that key. So if we call the get function and pass a key at and store the value in a variable or if we print this value so it will return the value associated with that key. So if key exists in the dictionary that the get function returns the value associated with that key. Like here, key at exists in the dictionary. So get function return value 23 associated with that key. But what if we pass a key that does not exist in the dictionary? Let's see what happens. So if we say result equals to dictionary dot get and here we pass the key where. Now the key where does not exist in the dictionary. In that case, get function will return none. So if we print the value of result, it will be empty. It will be none. Apart from the key, in the get function we can pass in another argument. Let's check here. That's the default value. So if we pass a key that does not exist in the dictionary, then it will return the default value which we passed as the second argument. So here, so it returns the default value because key where does not exist in the dictionary. Now we can use this get function to check if key is in dictionary or not. Like here, if, like here we want to check if key at exists in dictionary or not. So we can just here. So 
so here key get function will turn the value associated with that key but we didn't pass any default argument so if the key does not exist in the dictionary then it will return none so we can check if value is not none now we can check yes key does not exist in dictionary so if we execute this code so it will say that yes key exists in the dictionary now let's try a negative example here it will say key does not exist in the dictionary but it's not a foolproof way because we are expecting that okay if key does not exist in the dictionary then it will return none but what if our key but what if our dictionary has a key that has a value none so the result will not be as expected so that's why we should use this get function very carefully to check if a key exists in a dictionary or not well there is another way and that's quite safe check if a key exists in dictionary using iteration we can iterate over all the key value pairs of the dictionary and check if any of the key matches with our key that it means that key exists in the dictionary for example we want to check if this key exists in the dictionary or not now let's see how we can do that say result equals to false and then now let's iterate over the key value pairs of the dictionary we can do that using items function now for each key check if it's equal to the key to be checked if yes then just set the result to true and break because we, we know that key exists in the dictionary we, we don't need to go further or complete the iteration now here we can check if result is true that it means key exists in the dictionary else key does not exist in the dictionary now let's execute in the code so here we are looking for the key at we are treated over the key value pairs and if any key matches the at that it means key exists in the dictionary and yes so key exists in the dictionary now let's execute a negative example we will try to check if key where exists in the dictionary or not now if we execute this code it will say key does not exist in the dictionary so we can use the in operator directly then why we need to iterate over the keys and then check well it can be useful if we want to check with based on some other condition like we don't direct want to directly match key with the exist any of the existing key we, we want to check like if any key contains e as a character inside the string then how do we check in that case we need to iterate we can modify this example care to be checked like e now we will iterate over all the key value pairs and we will check if care exist in key now if we execute this code then it will say yes key exist in the dictionary because what it did it iterated over all the key value pairs of the dictionary and for each key it check if any key exist that contains e or if is there any key in the dictionary that contains the character e this kind of approach is useful for these scenarios where we, we are not directly checking the keys we are just checking based on some other conditions so that's all for this video thanks for watching and do subscribe our channel for more videos like this